What's going on guys? This is JT here and we'll be here on the iOS server on my main account. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a guild war tip that is very, very, very helpful, especially if you like 100% bases without really try having to try all that hard. It's fairly easy and can be done by pretty much anybody. Now this trick works with one of three heroes. You got Dovekeeper, Lavanica, and Zephyrica. Now the reason why it works with those heroes is because all those heroes take in limited amount of damage, with Zephyrica taking in the most at 36,000. So we're going to go ahead and use him. Plus he is the newest dragon as well. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and throw a level 9 survival either as a main talent or insignia. And then as a crest set, um, a level 9 stealth. The reason why this works so well is because anytime the hero's life drops below 30% life, well, voila, you got survival kicking in as well while they're stealth. That way it can go ahead and raise the life all the way back to full, right? Very, very, very helpful. And what you're going to want to do is, is go ahead and throw a Doom Balloon on as well because Doom Balloon really takes out bases super fast and almost makes it to where you can pretty much solo any base in the game with only one hero. Now, the only reason, the only way this trick would fail is if you go up against a major try-hard defense base with, let's say, all five of five malaise on their heroes that way you do not actually get the heal from survival i have had that happen before so yeah be aware of that and if that does happen obviously you might not want to go with this trick it's going to be a very 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 select few players that do have malaise on all their and heroes as enchantments on their guild wars defense team though right so yeah, let's go ahead and get in battle. I'll show you guys exactly how it works. I'm using um, for backup just to be safe in case my Zephyrica does die. I also, what did I just pick up a random wall or something? Why can't I click on anything? On, let me get out of here. All right, there we go. I did, in case my Zephyrica does die, I went ahead and brought Trentar in as well. That way, um, if you guys don't know, Trentar obviously revives heroes, and he's also auto-proc, auto so you want to make sure you throw the level 5 or anything higher than level 5 revitalize on him. That way, the second you drop him, he obviously redrives revives whatever you want um, him to revive. So we're also going to be running with Lavanica, Zephyrica. We got Dovekeeper in the house. We got Lazulix and Rosaline. Honestly, I didn't even really pay attention to whatever heroes I even had. It's just whatever was uh, in my hero bases because the main thing we're going to be focusing on is Zephyrica. No doubt about that. So, oh, look at this. We got some of the top guilds today. We got I'm balanced. Not very many hot players there. We got DM with 1.3 million my players. We also got 7 C's with some really high mic players. We got 1.5, 1.4. We got KOA as well with 1.4 and 1.5. All right, so let's go ahead and get into a KOA base. 1.4 million mic. So what you want to pay attention to is either like a Dove Keeper or another Zephyrica or even Lavanica, something that can't die. You want to go ahead and drop that Zephyrica right on top of it. So it looks like this guy has Creation 01. He also has Gunslinger. Oh, wow, that Gunslinger is probably going to be pretty painful. Hopefully, I wonder if this base can actually kill my Zephyrica. This should be pretty interesting. He has Walla in the back as well. Cosmo and Ripper. Wow, no Levanica, no Dove. Oh, this is going to be real interesting. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and throw Zephyrica right over here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me restart this. That way we have full amount of time. Let's go ahead and throw Zephyrica right over here at the top. And let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens right here. Hopefully I don't uh, end up making myself look stupid with Zephyrica just falling over. So Zephyrica is dropping life insanely fast. We got stealth coming into play though. No heal? Okay, there's the heal. Alright, so we did get the heal from Zephyrica. The base is at 18% already. Zephyrica's life is dropping insane again. We got stealth coming into play. Where's our heal from survival? There it is right there. Okay. Still looking okay so far. We got Zephyrica's life going down again. Ooh, almost died. Not quite. Survival should be coming in. There we go. Survival is in. Very nice. All right. We got Stealth coming in again. Very nice. And looks like Zephyrica actually just healed himself just as is. So this is basically how it works. I mean, you guys understand the setup. And like I said, it works with Dove Keeper, also Lavanica. And obviously Zephyrica. Those are the three main ones because um, they all take in limited amount of damage, like I had said. So this looks like it's working pretty solid overall. Now, obviously, we could drop other heroes if we want to speed this up just a little bit. Oh, Zephyrica died, boys. I was wondering if he was going to die. So it looks like the Malaise hit Zephyrica right at the right time. But you guys do get the point and this honestly overall does work very 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 well now sometimes when you come in to bases like i was explaining a bunch of people with malaise it works a little bit uh not as good as if obviously players don't have mass malaise on uh, their heroes 
So let's go ahead and drop Lazu. We'll drop Rosa. We'll drop... We're just trying to clear some buildings at this point. And we'll go ahead and drop Dove as well. Once some of these bad boys die, we'll go ahead and then drop our tree in the back. Let's see. We'll go ahead and drop the tree now because I think we should be open. Help, guys. My Trintar, like, got one shot right there. That was kind of scary. Trintar just almost got one shot before, uh... Trintar almost got one shot before everything revived. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into the fight. What do we got next? And we didn't even drop any troops there as well. All right, so what do we got? We got Walla and... Walla and Ripper down there. We got Zephyrica up top. We got Lavanica and... Who is that? Lavanica and Cosmo? Yeah, Lavanica and Cosmo and... Anubis down at the bottom with Empower. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tank on this Anubis. Let's see how this works here. We'll let Zephyrica tank on Anubis. Let him do do his job. How's he? Oh, he's all stunned up. That's Zephyrica. Oh, man. Let's drop some troops to get him unstunned here. There's Zephyrica stunning up our, our Zephyrica like nonstop. We can't even move. What? Dude, this Zephyrica is straight up stunning us up. We can't even move. Are we going to be able to move in this fight or what? We're just going to be... Stunned up the entire time. Okay, there we go. Now we finally move towards the Anubis. That was unfortunate, man. That's a fear. Dude, Zephyrk is a beast. Is Zephyrk really that powerful? Gosh. Can we get a survival heal? There we go. All right, we're at 24%. I'm going to let this run again just to see if the Zephyrk can stay alive. Honestly, this is my first time ever even testing this with Zephyrk is during this video. I already know for a fact it works really well with Dove and Levanica. It works the best, in my opinion, on Dove because Dove really never dies, to be honest with you. This stealth is coming on pretty strong, though, and it's allowing that survival to go ahead and get its heal up as well. So we're at 34%. Zephyrica is... Nope, still not going down. Luckily, he doesn't have... Let's see, does he have any malaise at all? Because you'll see the little, uh, the little slash that says that he's not healing. If you want to make a base that is, that can actually defend against this, just go with five malaise, or at least four out of your six heroes with malaise. And this trick really won't work that well, obviously, because they hit survival just won't heal. If survival doesn't heal, then this is a no-go, right? Because obviously stealth doesn't heal you at all. It just gives you a little bit of invisibility. Now, this does also work with life drain if you're not getting stunned up so much, but preferably, I'd rather just go stealth survival. So, wow, we only have a minute left. Are we going to have enough time to kill this guy's base? I don't even know if we have enough time. One minute? We might as well drop our other heroes. We ain't about to try to take an L. Let's see. Where should we drop at? Let's go ahead and drop right on top of this wall. Up. I'm going to drop my... I'm going to drop my Dove over here. Dove and Rosaline. Then I'll drop my Lazu here. And we'll drop Levanica over... Oh, man. That was a bad Levanica drop. But oh, well. Not the end of the world. Zephyrica's still alive, so that's a good thing. If we can get a prop, we did get a Lazarus prop, but that didn't really do all that much. And we only got 39 seconds left. This is getting dangerous, boys. This is getting dangerous, boys. Man, 93%? Don't let me down. Can Zephyrica finish up? We're at 97%. All right, let's go ahead and revive. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. All right, so let's keep on climbing. Yes, we do want to revive. What do we want to do? KOA Beast! What's up, brother? All right, so we got Lavanica and Anubis over here. We got Zephyrica up top. We got Cosmo dead in the middle. Wallow on the far left. And wait, was there, where's the six hero? Oh, okay, something else over here too. Okay, so we got Dove over here as well. Yeah, let's drop over here with the Walla and Dove. Kill the Walla and then just finish off. Yeah, this looks like a safe little spot to drop. We'll go ahead and drop all heroes right here. Well, actually... Not all heroes, but most heroes right here. And then I'm going to drop my uh, Lazu way over on the other side. That way it clears up a bunch of buildings. Then we'll drop a bunch of troops as well, just to be safe, right? Keep some procs going from our Zephyrica, just to give them a little bit a little bit more life standing. I mean, just a smart thing to do. Why not? We got Rosaline taking in quite a bit of damage. Rosaline still isn't dead yet, so that's a good thing. We are running pretty low on troops, which kind of stinks. Rosaline's going down again. We're only at 25%. Rosaline's actually dead, so that kind of feels bad. We only got eight troops left. Actually, we killed his hero. That could be a bad thing. Once we get over 50%, we'll go ahead and drop uh, our Lazu down here. See, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop my Lazu right here. Once Lazu procs, he clears up like 75%. Which is insane. So we're at 86%. Zephyrica almost died. 
still yet, uh, has Zephyrica died? Oh yeah, it did die that one time against that first base. So yeah, if Malay's procs on Zephyrica at perfect timing, like I said, then it's going to be a wipe, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. We got two bases left. Is that 7 C's higher? 1.37. Yeah, 1.4 and 1.5. All right. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and hire. We might as well hire troops. What? Oh, come on. I can't quick hire here. Should I try to beat them without troops? Troops definitely help in this situation, but I think we might be able to... I don't know. These are two of the best bases in the game. Can we beat them without troops, boys? Got my boy Marty H. Proceeds. We'll try to beat him with no troops. Hopefully it isn't a Phil's bad man wipe because that would suck. All right, so what is that? We got Rosaline and Walla. That should be pretty tanky. So I'm going to drop Zephyrica, Dub, Rosaline, and Lavanica. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any troops. So real quickly, I'm going to see, be able to tell if we're just going to get smoked right here or not. Looks like everything's staying alive. Rosaline's kind of a useless hero to bring. Like I said, I only brought her because she just happens to be in my, uh, she happened to be on my hero base. That's the only reason why I brought Rosaline. No other reason. <laughs> so, yes. Let's see. We actually killed his Lazu over here on the far left. What are we fighting? We are fighting his Dub, so we should be okay. It looks like it's going really, really, really slow, though. Oh, Zephyrica taking some damage? We gonna die? Nope, Zephyrica just healed right back to full life. We're at 43%, so that's still pretty solid overall. Whenever I get over 50%, I'll go ahead and drop my Lazu. Probably next to his... Oh, Lavanica just died. That's all right, we're still going to keep going. Like I said, I'm not... Even if we do take a loss, I'm not really overly stressing. 51%, all right, so we'll go ahead and drop Lazu down here. We'll drop Lazu and the three troops that we got. So hopefully we can get a Lazu proc off. All right, so we're at 88%. We still got our Trentar in case we need him to go ahead and revive that Zephyrica. But it looks like Zephyrica is still maintaining his, or keeping himself alive. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop the tree. Oh, all right, so we finished up. All right, we got one base left, boys. Can we go five for five? We should, ooh, MCRI. What is up, my man? This is definitely one of the strongest players on iOS. I could imagine that I might need true. This might be the only player that has Malace on all his heroes. Actually, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Let's just drop Zephyrica. Where can we drop Zephyrica? He's got a dub down here. Let's just see how Zephyrica does against this uh, alone. Let's see how we do with Zephyrica by himself. Taking in quite a bit of damage. That's fine. We got stealth coming in. Should be getting a full heal right here. Where's the heal? There's the heal. All right, so 10%. Still coming on pretty strong. It's nice that he only has Dove down here at the bottom because obviously this character shouldn't really have that much trouble healing against Doves, right? So yeah, even against one of the strongest players. This this is definitely one of the strongest players. This guy has been a top player in Castle Clash for the last four years. Pretty much ever since I've been a top player, my boy MCRI has been a top player as well. So salute to him, no doubt about that. And let's see, how can we take this base out quicker? Let's go ahead and drop everything on that Lavanica or over here. Let's just clear something over here, I think. We'll drop Rosa, Dove, and hey, that Rosaline died instantly. Rosaline is so useless in this situation. And let's go ahead and drop our Lazu right next to Zephyrica. All right, Lavanica just fell over, so that's unfortunate. Dovekeeper just fell over too. So we're about to get 50% with Lazu. That is a ballsy move, boys. So 75%. We still got our Zeph taken. I just don't think Zephyrica is going to die. That's the thing. So even at this point, I'll let it go a little bit longer just to double check to make sure that Zephyrica doesn't die. He shouldn't die. Stay up, Bob. As long as we don't, as long as he doesn't have any malaise, which he does have malaise on some of these heroes, because I've seen it proc on my Zephyrica, but still, it's just so beast. That survival is just too good as soon as he goes invisible, right? 86%. We got a minute left. What do we got going down, boys? 88%. There comes the stealth right there. 97%. I think it's safe to go ahead and drop the tree, finish this base up. There we go. We revived everything, but is that going to help? <laughs> Where's that? There it is. 3,000. So this is going to be my highest guild wars. Well, 15,000 guild wars. 
That's insane, dude. That's, that's, that's such a ridiculous Guild Wars score. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. All right, if my dog Mila catches 10 Frisbees in a row, you have to subscribe. Mila, you ready? Don't let that down, baby. We got one. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? <laughs> subscribe anyway, please. Oh,